welcome back to my channel my name is katie and i'm so happy that you are watching this video today because i will be sharing with you how i use mockups and how you can edit it and use it when you present your projects to your clients or if you wanted to post them as part of your portfolio so are you ready because i am let's learn how to use mockups So today, I will be sharing with you guys how to use MacUps. So we will be using Adobe Photoshop and another way is to use Canva to create the MacUps. So now, um, the first thing that you would like to remember when working with MacUps is that you have to study the layers. It can get quite intimidating at first because there are so many layers but you just need to determine what layers are you supposed to edit and what layers do you want to edit. In this trifold brochure that I downloaded from a Mac, free MacUp website, this is just a free MacUp by the way, and um, let me just mention one of the MacUp sources that I like using would be MacUpWorld.co. Um, there are so many in here and these items here, most of these are free. Some are paid, of course, so you can opt to use the paid ones also. So there are so many here. There are t-shirts, there are stationary mockups, there are um, tech mockups, there are product mockups, and that stuff. So just choose whatever you think you will be using in your projects. So let's go back to our Photoshop. Now, looking at this document, maybe you wanted to change the color of your background and what you can do is to look for the colors um, basically the background layers are the ones that are at the bottom part of the layers panel your trifold brochure will be here where it says mock up so this is expandable because it's a group so you can expand it and look for it says here background adjustment so you can adjust the contrast and you can also adjust the highlights um, it says here you can adjust the bottom color so if we want to change the color from this dark granite i'm not sure what the color is but it's probably black now if you wanted to change the background since this is a smart layer you can just double click on it and then you can choose the color that you want um let's say probably light pink no i'm not liking it um let's look here okay this one is good i think i want to keep this this way i like the combination already and then you look for the leaflet layers so it's here now it says left page middle page and right page those pages actually correspond to this now for you to be sure and to double check you can hide the layers okay this is the right now this is the middle and this is the left page so if you want to change i actually don't have a prepared document today so what we will do is i will just look for photos that we can put in this brochure but when you practice try to find a document or try some photos just for if you if you're just practicing and you don't want to post it anyway and it's not your final project that you wanted to showcase then it's fine in order for you to do that you just have to double click on the layer all right and then click on ok and then this is the area where you can put your photo so let me just click place embedded and i will look for some stock photos let's see um here peonies i will try to use this okay and then just expand so that it fits the layer okay i'm just going to adjust it all right and then click the x and then click save all right now the photo will be automatically um going to the area where you click the layer and then next would be the middle layer so we will click that it's basically the same thing you just have to repeat the process um let's choose this one 
Okay, and then adjust the size. So probably let's say we're really working on a peony brochure, a peony farm brochure. So click save. All right. Now there's a layer here that says highlights. So you can opt to remove that or you can put it there. So um, I think I'm going to remove it just because I wanted to see the color of the peony more. And then go to the last layer for the mock-up. Double click on it. And then we will place another file. Okay. And then when you're satisfied with the placement, just click the X mark and then click save. And there you go. That's that's your mock-up already. Now I think um it's better if we have a lighter version of um the peony in the middle so i'm gonna change it i'm just going to open another file let's see if we have another peony right here coffee and peonies okay this one i think i can use this okay let me go and adjust. And you can also put a text if you want. So let's say we wanted to put peony and then change to black. And change the font as well. Then I will change and adjust the font size. All right. And then close the layer. And there you go. The text that we input will be there. And then the layers will be there as well. Now, if you're satisfied with the placement of the files, this can be text by the way it doesn't have to be photos this can be text so um, you can put a document also with the text maybe a ping file or a png file you can use that and then once you're satisfied you just have to click on save as so that you can save a copy of your trifold leaflet mockup peony Trifold, this let mock up. I'm going to save that to my desktop for easy access. And I'm just going to organize my files when I have time. So there you go. And then another mock up way to showcase your mock up will be to get a styled stock photo like this one. And um, I'm looking at putting this invitation to my Instagram account. So I'm going to make this as a square file. Let me check first if the image size is adjusted already. Yeah, I've adjusted it. You're free to use whatever file size you want. And then I'm just going to crop it to square. All right. And I'm going to look for a an invitation that I've created. And I'm going to copy it and then paste it in here. And I'll adjust the size. So... This is how I do it. I'm going to put it here on top of the book or the journal. And I'm going to adjust it so that it takes the place of the journal. And then I'm going to put a drop shadow so it will look more realistic. So it looks like it's part of the photo or the style stack photo that we used so that's how easy it is and then you can just put your watermark if you want to post it on your social media account and let me save this save as um another ping file then mock up um bridal shower click on okay and we can do that as well on canva this one the first one that we um, actually created we cannot do that in canva because we used layers 
And for Canva, this is how we do it. So I have here a prepared square file already. It's 1200px by 1200px. Now I'm going to choose the same stock photo that we used on Photoshop. And I'm just going to fit that here. All right. And then I have the same file. So I'm going to adjust it and then check the angle as well. As you can see, and if you have noticed, um, it's more flexible to use this on um, Photoshop. Now, there is no way to put a shadow in here except to put a shape at the back of the invitation to make it more realistic so we will put a square and make this lighter a lighter version of gray okay and then just resize it now put the position it at the back and then check the angle also and adjust now let me just choose a darker gray first and then just adjust the color later so it's easier for me to see the shadow I think the shadow is okay. Um, feel free to play around when you create this. Um, make sure that the shadow corresponds with the shadows um, that you see on the other elements of the picture. Now, what I can do to adjust this is to check the transparency and make sure that it's not too obvious or it's not too glaring. So there, um, there's, uh, I'm not sure if you can see it um, on your screens right now because it depends on how, um, how bright your screen is, but I can see a little bit of a shadow just behind the invitation. All right, there, can you see it? So there, it's very, very light because I adjusted um, the transparency now if you want to make it darker just adjust the transparency just drag the slider until you're satisfied with how it looks so so far i like how it looks right now so let's compare the output so this is what you see when you create your mock-up on canva and then here is what you see when you create it on photoshop so the shadow in photoshop is much more subtle so it's subtler and it's looking more realistic than the ones we have um, on Canva. Now there's another way to create a mockup on Canva. What you need to do is just to open another file. So let's say we wanted to have um, Facebook post size um, document and then I'm going to choose one of the tech photos in my folder so that we can get a screenshot of our screen a screenshot of our screen <laughs> it's so redundant but I, I i know you get what i mean so let's say i want this okay and then i'm going to take a screenshot of my screen right now So I'm just going to copy it and then I have the screenshot already and I'm going to upload the photo. This. And then we'll just wait until it loads and then I'm going to put that in here. All right. Now I think we can use it. So there you go. You just have to adjust the size. Okay, and adjust the angle as well if you have to. Alright, so there you go. 
uh, we have a map up of the screen that we're currently looking at right now so it looks like an inception <laughs> all right now there's a trick that some of the designers do or some of the people that use canva do so what they um prefer to do is to get a triangle shape and put that here so that you can create like an illusion of your screen you can put that at the bottom or on top and then adjust the transparency so it looks like there's a shadow of your screen and it would look more realistic. All right. So there you go. That's how easy it is to work with mockups on Photoshop as well as Canva. If you have any questions or if you missed any of the steps that we did, let me know. Leave a comment um, if you are already doing this right now. And if you have other tricks that I did not mention, I would love if you would share it with me as well so we can learn from each other and again um, I will be recording more videos in the future so I hope you will come back to my channel and if you have not subscribed yet please do subscribe and I will be um, working on making sure that I give you quality videos in the future so thank you again for watching don't forget to click on the bell button as well so you will be notified when i upload a new video and there you go so have a great day or have a great night wherever you are in the world goodbye everyone before you came round my heart would never be much faster before you came round i was ready to slow